Welcome to Das Geek. Have you ever heard the saying, don't throw rocks in a glass house? My operating system is the greatest. I don't have these same problems. Linux is crap or Windows is crap. They're all throwing rocks in a glass house. And today's video could not be a more perfect example of that. I've shown you the good things that I really like about Mac OS, namely the integration stuff. I've shown you some of the beautiful hardware that they have and produce from a design only standpoint. We'll get into the engineering in a second with their love for glue and things. Well, in another video, but today we're going to talk about something that I didn't know about Mac OS at all, because what I knew about Mac is that a lot of people who do professional recordings and music production and things, they seem to utilize Mac OS for that stuff. So I thought, man, audio is going to be awesome in the Mac ecosystem. So I pull up OBS to make my first video in Mac. I want to capture the sound from my desktop and also, of course, my mic to, you know, make a video much like you would if you were a streamer, say you would want to be able to capture your mic. You'd want to be able to capture your desktop audio for the game, except there was no audio coming through. And I couldn't figure out why. So I started doing some research and I came across a couple of tools saying there is no audio stream built into Mac OS. They don't have an audio stream for the desktop, which was really confusing because over in the Linux world, for those who are watching my videos from Apple, we have something called Pulse Audio. And Pulse Audio is fantastic for most normal use of, you know, a USB microphone, some headphones, some speakers and things. Once you start adding in professional equipment, it starts to become less of something that you love and you end up wanting to go over to something like Jack, which is what the professional kind of sound tool would be in the Linux world, just to kind of simplify it. But in Mac, again, I expected at least that it would have the same capabilities of Pulse, right? Your, your very basic standard sound system setup, uh, but it doesn't. You can't record an audio stream. In fact, on Audacity site, Mac computers have no built-in ability to record streaming audio playing on a sound device. You can use additional software to record computer playback directly into Audacity, or you can do so by connecting a loop back cable from audio out to separate audio inputs available on the Macs. Alternatively, there are commercial applications. Wow. So you have to get a plug in. No big deal. It's weird. It's more than a paper cut. It's pretty stupid at this point in operating system world, not to have an ability to grab streaming audio from your desktop, but whatever, there's probably some free plugin or something out there that you can get. And, and indeed there is, it's the, I show you audio. The problem is they've deprecated. I show you audio, which is one of the free plugins that you could use. And they're instead moving it, it looks like, into their professional package, which is $79 to be able to buy this professional package and continue getting basically an ability to record your audio, your desktop audio, uh, if you're wanting to grab that stream. So then you have to look at the commercial applications that are available now. So you can't do one of the most basic things you could do on windows. Heck you, you could do this on your phone. You could capture your phone's audio stream while you're recording on, on here. I, I'm, I'm blown away, but anyways, you have to go into the commercial offering section and see what they have available. Um, apparently that link is dead. The one that I chose in any case is something called sound siphon. And this is a $49 tool sound siphon. And it looks something like this. It's a pretty cool tool. And again, if you were a professional, you were putting in multiple inputs for guitars and amps and other sound streams and stuff, you would probably want to buy something like this anyways to integrate in the Linux world. We'd use Jack, of course, in the windows world there, I'm sure there's uh, what is it? Cake or cakewalk or other, other tools like that for professional audio. Here you can see, you can set up like I can have different audio streams from different sources, you know, mix into 
uh, be able to capture and monitor at the same time for desktop and video. And that's how I'm getting my mic here as well as the desktop audio if I was playing any across through this device through Sound Siphon. And once you install Sound Siphon or I show you audio because you can still use it, but I had a lot of problems with lag in the audio when I was recording. So the video wouldn't quite sync up with the audio. And so I would look like I was in one of those you know, dubbed Kung Fu movies or something. Um, but I've not had that same problem with Sound Siphon. So it is pretty good software. It's $49 though, another cost on top of what you're already paying for Mac, which we know is extraordinary. We know there's a surcharge, whether you are okay with that surcharge or not, not the point of this, but now you've got dongles that you're buying on top of having to buy software to do something as basic as capturing an audio stream from your desktop. I know no other operating system on the planet that doesn't have that built in. And I'm just, I'm shocked. This is Catalina, by the way. This isn't like I'm using some old Mac here. I've got 2020 Mac Air and 2020 Mac Mini. And this is what we're, we're dealing with. Uh, once you have it installed, you can see I, I created something called All Audio multi-capture, so it captures everything. And then that's my option here that I can choose um, and, and do the same in OBS. And now I have the ability to get my audio stream. So let me show you what that looks like. So I go into OBS and I go into the settings. You can see now I choose that as my all audio multi-capture. And then because normally it's not connected right now, but I would have the uh, PreSono Studio 2.4 connected I would be able to uh, utilize that and select that as my mic and I would be good to go. Now, the reason why I don't have the mic connected, but you're hearing this audio is because right now I'm basically getting ready to do this test between an Intel Nook versus the Mac Mini. I think it's gonna be a really awesome video. So right now I'm actually on the Mini. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek into looking at the desktop and we're gonna show some of the things that it's capable of doing it's blown me away. And by the way, when we talk about repairability, the thing looks awesome. It's got a little glowing skull on it and it comes with an Allen wrench. So it's meant to be gotten into and upgraded. There's no glue anywhere. Nothing's glued down. It's, it's amazing. Let's take a look at that. So I'm actually just going to turn off my camera for this part of it, just so you can look at this lovely, gorgeous wallpaper and KDE plasma. We're running Manjaro here, absolutely gorgeous. And if we talk about having multiple applications open, wanting to move them to different workspaces and things, some of the things that the Linux people were seeing that I was showing in Mac, and they're like, hey, you can do that as well in Linux. Absolutely, you can do that stuff in Linux. And uh, here's this I show you audio uh, that we were talking about earlier at $79. And, uh, Here's them saying it's deprecated in case anybody's like, you lie. But you can see I can go up here and I can move different programs to different workspaces, just like Mission Control is in Mac. Very, very cool. Some of the things that you can do, but uh, we'll get into that in later videos and kind of do a comparison. Mac OS versus, versus the Linux world. Some of the good, the bad, the ugly. But I'll tell you one thing you can do in Linux that you can't do in a Mac. Out of the box, you can actually record your desktop audio. I know it's weird. I know it's shocking. No additional $79 for it. No additional $49 for it. No hunting down a plugin to see why it's not working because pretty much in this day and age, it's a pretty standard request to be able to record audio. It's got to be up there as the dumbest thing in macOS. Now, I've said the good stuff about macOS. There's a lot of great stuff I love about it, but we've got to call spade a spade. This is pretty dumb. Y'all know this is pretty dumb. Even you Mac people who love it know it's pretty dumb. If there's a good excuse for it, leave it in the comments below, but I don't think there is. By the way, you wanna know something that's amazing because you know this is kind of a little bit of a downer. If you go to Bitwarden, you can get their premium service for $10 a year. That's not a month, not a week, $10 for the entire year. It's are superior to any other password manager out there. It's my go-to password manager. It was my go-to password manager 
before they ever became a sponsor. It was Michael's favorite password manager, Noah's favorite password manager. If you follow Destination Linux podcast at all, this is the one we all have used well before they ever became a sponsor. So them being a sponsor is just an added bonus out here. Go check out our videos that we have on the channel about Bitwarden. They're absolutely amazing. So I want you to go to bitwarden.com slash DLN to let them know that you came from this channel or that you're coming and representing Destination Linux Network. Let them know we sent you there. Sign up for the $10 plan. Get all of the extra features there. It's an amazing service. You're going to absolutely love it. It's going to keep your password safe. So that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're looking forward and excited as I am about some of these upcoming videos where we're going to take further look at some of the great stuff out there with Mac, kind of do a complete overview of the mini, the airs, the MacBook pros, and talk about the good, the bad, the ugly. And then we're going to start doing some head to head competition with other things that are out there and let you decide which one's the best for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, get out there and fill your brains. Don't forget to subscribe. And thank you for watching this video.